<laughs> the mosquitoes are still here. Really quickly, Peppermint Lane says they're giving out hot cocoa, but in this weather, I can't have hot, co Maybe hot cocoa. Maybe an iced cocoa. Yeah, iced yeah. is where it's at. Yeah. Well, I, I love the hot cocoa, so. But it's not cool enough for it. <laughs> it's never it's never a perfect time or not yeah. a perfect time for hot cocoa. Um, but yeah, as they mentioned, um, those mosquitoes leaving the way, that's just a little bit drop in the humidity. That's going to bring us to our color of the weather. We have a perfect, honestly, picture of today. Day. Riley showing us the breezy conditions that's in the forecaster for us and even some of the rain that's on the way to South Texas temperature wise still pretty warm as we've been mentioning 87 degrees feels like getting a little bit closer to that 94 but as you can see lots of wind is on the board here for our forecast today and if you're looking to submit a photo go ahead and send that into our email address at color the weather at k tv.com besides the winds though rain that's the next biggest thing on the board here for us that moves in heading into tonight into tomorrow and so through about Wednesday morning this is what our rain estimates are going to be looking at more so a lot of us getting a little bit closer to that quarter of an inch and even half of an inch um, rainfall estimates but as we head a little bit further north that's where we're getting a little bit closer to just under um, an inch possible for the rain that's on the way here to the coastal band here's a look at the future cast of when that comes in once again a few sprinkles possible today about a 10% chance for your Monday afternoon heading into tomorrow tonight rain moving in from the northwest that continues to push on through and as you can see a lot of that rain kind of being patchy so not all of us not all of us will get those heavy downpours but the chance is still there um, for a lot of us to see storms moving throughout the region especially with tomorrow being election day once again best timing for that being about overnight hours 1 a.m. heading into your morning commute about 9 a.m. those impacts include that storms moving in with the cold front so just make sure you have that rain gear and even an extra jacket because we'll be a little bit of a, a cooler start for sure with the temperature drop about 10 degrees gonna have more details on that in our rest of our weekly forecast here in just a moment Barbie John Thomas thank you so very much faith